Since 1957, Maxon has been the leader in liftgate innovations that deliver higher reliability, enhanced productivity, and lower cost of ownership. From the invention of the first tuck-away gate in 1957 to industry-leading achievements like the BMRA column lift, GPT premium tuck-away, GPTLR level ride tuck-away, and DMD, the first direct medium-duty rail lift, to the latest advancements that make lift gates smarter, safer, and more reliable. Maxon helps you surpass your fleet's efficiency goals. Hello. This presentation will introduce you to the operation and features of the Maxon GPT Tuckaway Liftgate. This liftgate is the best selling Tuckaway in North America and was specifically designed to meet the versatile needs of highly efficient fleets. This video contains four sections. Section 1, Introduction, will review the GPT and its numerous features. Section 2, Safety, will discuss important safety issues to consider before operating the GPT liftgate. Section 3, Operation, discusses deploying and stowing the GPT liftgate. And Section 4, will review popular options. Maxon's GPT is a unique tuck-away liftgate that combines the level ride characteristics of a rail or column lift with the convenience of having the lift gate safely out of the way when not in use. Now, let's cover some lift gate terminology. The lift gate is made up of a mainframe which connects to a pair of lifting arms which house the lifting cylinders. The lifting arms connect to a platform with a flip section. Opening and closing of the platform is supported by the platform opener. Note that correct adjustment of this opener is crucial to achieve minimum effort to open and close the platform. The platform comes up to the extension plate that is affixed to the bed of the truck. Steps and dock bumpers are affixed to the sides of the extension plate. The operation of the liftgate is controlled by a molded switch, which powers the pump and motor assembly. Available as an option, the gate can also be operated via a handheld control that is mounted inside the truck body if equipped. The hydraulic pressure is created by a pump, which is powered by the vehicle's batteries. Some vehicles can also have additional auxiliary batteries installed. The GPT is equipped with an automatic hydraulic lock valve. The valve locks and unlocks automatically when the control switch is activated. All Maxon lift gates are shipped with an operation manual. This manual should be located in your vehicle or can be downloaded at www.maxonlift.com GPT. It is essential that you read and understand this manual prior to operating the liftgate. Please pay particular attention to the safety and operation warnings found on page 4 of the manual. Incorrect operation of the liftgate can result in serious personal injury to you or other persons in the area of operation. Comply with all warnings and liftgate operating instructions in the manual and never allow untrained persons to operate the liftgate. The GPT liftgates have a rated capacity between 2,500 pounds to 5,000 pounds, depending on the model. Check the capacity decal of your particular model for its rated capacity. At no time should you ever place a load on the platform that is rated greater than the rated capacity of the liftgate. Do not allow any part of your body to be placed under, within, or around any portion of the moving liftgate or its mechanisms. Always consider the safety and location of bystanders and location of nearby objects when operating the liftgate. Ideally, position safety cones on the outer edge of the loading area. Be certain that the area the liftgate will move through during operation is clear of all obstacles. Stand to one side of the platform while operating the liftgate. Keep in mind that there are several pinch points and critical safety factors. When operating from the ground, stand clear of the platform. If operating while on the liftgate, stand in a safe position away from the edge of the platform while always maintaining three-point contact. You will also find a series of operations and warning decals on the vehicle and the liftgate. Make sure you read and understand all of these warnings prior to operating the liftgate. And always keep these decals clean and legible. 
Standard material handling equipment such as carts or pallet jacks may be used for loading and unloading. Forklift operation on the lift gate is strictly prohibited. Do not move the vehicle unless the lift gate is properly stowed. Correctly stow the platform when not in use. Extended platforms could create a hazard for people and vehicles passing by. The Maxon GPT liftgate will operate smoothly and reasonably quiet. Make note of scraping, grinding, and binding noises, and don't operate the liftgate before a qualified mechanic has rectified the problem. Above all, please use common sense and always follow operating instructions and safety precautions. Maxon recommends conducting daily operation checks or pre-trip inspections. Before you check the liftgate, park the vehicle on a flat surface and set the parking brake. If any of the following operation checks reveal a need to service or repair the liftgate, do not operate the liftgate until a qualified mechanic services or repairs the liftgate. These checks are listed on page 6 and 7 of the operation manual. Before operating the liftgate, be sure to do the following. First, make sure the optional cab cutoff switch is in the on position. Check that the control switch is in place and undamaged. Visually check that the pump cover is bolted on securely and undamaged. Look for hydraulic fluid leaking from the pump box. Visually check for cracks and bends on the extension plate. Also, make sure fasteners are in place and undamaged and that the extension plate is clean. Visually check that all decals are clean and undamaged. Now, lower the lift gate to the ground and open the platform and flip over. Confirm that the hydraulic lock is in place and undamaged. Check the hydraulic cylinders for leaking seals and hose connections. Follow the hydraulic hoses from the cylinders to the pump box. Make sure that all hoses are connected at both ends and that there are no cracks chafing, or fluid leaks. Check the mainframe, lift arms, parallel arms, and platform openers for cracks and bends. Make sure rollers on the platform openers roll freely. Also, make sure that all bolts and pins are in place and undamaged. Check all weld surfaces for cracks or breaks, bends, or weld fatigue. Next. Check the platform and flip over for cracks, holes, and bends on the load carrying surface and side plates. Also, make sure torsion bars, coil springs, and fasteners are in place and undamaged. Make sure that the platform and flip over load carrying surfaces are clean. With the platform unfolded and raised to bed level, check that the outboard edge of the platform is level or rises up to one inch above bed level. If the outboard edge of the platform looks like the yes illustration on page 7 of the manual, it is safe to operate the liftgate. If the outboard edge of the platform is below level line and the platform looks like the no illustration, do not operate the liftgate under any circumstances. Finally, operate the liftgate through one cycle without load on the platform. Raise the platform to vehicle bed height. Next, lower the platform to ground level. When the lift gate is moving, listen for unusual noises and look for jerking motion or uneven movement on either side of the platform. The only noise you should hear when operating the lift is the sound of the hydraulic pump. If these operational checks did not reveal any issues, proceed with stowing the lift gate. If any of the operational checks reveal a need to service or repair the lift gate, do not operate the unit until a qualified mechanic completes the service or repair. In the cab of the truck, you may find an optional liftgate cab cutoff switch. If equipped and as a safety precaution, this switch should be in the off position when you are not using the liftgate. To supply power to the liftgate, turn the switch to the on position. Stand to the side, ensuring you have proper clearance of all body parts. Lower the liftgate until it touches the ground and unfold the platform. It is recommended to raise the platform a couple of inches off the ground to bring it to a more ergonomic lifting position. Then unfold the flip section. Remember to use proper lifting, keeping your back straight. Also utilize appropriate hand protection. 
The lift gate is now deployed and ready for use. When putting a load on the platform, always comply with the following procedures. A load should always be placed as close as possible to the rear edge of the center of the platform. A load should never extend past the edges of the platform. Do not place unstable loads on the platform and never allow the load to exceed the lifting capacity of the liftgate. When unloading the vehicle, always push the load out on the platform. Pulling the load from the vehicle to the platform can result in serious injury. Doing so may cause a fall from the platform. Raise the platform by pushing the toggle switch to the up position. Release the toggle switch after the platform reaches bed height. To lower the platform, push the toggle switch to the down position. Always stay in a safe area away from the edge of the platform when riding on the lift gate. Always use three points of contact and never jump off the platform. To stow the lift gate, fold the platform clip section over onto the main platform section. As previously demonstrated, this is most ergonomically done when the platform is a couple of inches off the ground. Next, lower the lift gate and utilizing proper lifting techniques, fold the entire platform until it rests against the opener arm. Now, using the control switch, raise the lift gate until it reaches the extension plate. Wait a second before releasing the toggle switch after the lift gate has been completely raised. The lift gate automatically locks in the stowed position. Return to the cab and turn off the cab cutoff switch. Now it is safe to operate the vehicle. Walk Ramp Compatible Model GPTWR. On vehicles equipped with the GPTWR model, refer to the manufacturer's instructions concerning how to safely use the walk ramp. Note that the walk ramp can be deployed and stowed without the need to operate the lift gate. Cart stops. Cart stops are a popular option that serve as a barrier on the platform when needed. When loading the platform at bed level, make sure the cart stops are open. To open these, step on the hook on the side of the cart stop. Push the load out of the vehicle to the safe loading position on the platform as referenced in Section 3. Place all loads as close as possible to the inboard edge of the platform with the heaviest part toward the vehicle body. If standing on the platform with a load, always make sure to stand in a safe area away from the edge of the platform. Make sure cart stops are closed before moving the load off the platform. To close, push the cart stop and hook in place. As with any piece of equipment, the most important thing to remember is to follow all safety precautions. Always be aware of your surroundings and make sure you are following the operation and safety warnings at all times. Do not operate the lift gate if it is not working properly. Conducting your pre-trip inspections can help you identify problems before you get out on the road. Keep safety in mind by always using proper lifting techniques, use three-point contact entering and exiting your vehicle and while loading and unloading, never jump off the lift gate, and always secure your load as well as lock your vehicle. Keeping these things in mind will ensure proper and safe use. Many thanks for choosing a Maxon Liftgate.